Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, I'm going to review the key points for graphing on a coordinate plane. So let's review some vocabulary before we begin. A coordinate plane is a two-dimensional plane formed by the intersection of a vertical line, the y-axis, and a horizontal line, the x-axis. So we have our vertical line, the y-axis, and our horizontal line, the x-axis. Together, this two-dimensional, right, because we have x and y making it two-dimensional, coordinate plane is what it's called. Now we can build on that and say that we know that the point where the x and y inter axis intersect is the origin. This point is represented by the pair 0, 0. So this is the origin, the location of it. It's where the x and y axis intersect, and it is named by parenthesis 0, comma, 0, parenthesis. So this is the name of this ordered pair stating the location on the coordinate plane of that point. Then we have quadrants in our coordinate plane. When the y-axis and the x-axis intersect at the origin, they divide the plane into four quadrants. Quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. Noticing that the quadrants go in order counterclockwise, okay, and we name them using Roman numerals. So Roman numeral 1, 2, 3, and 4. So now let's review, get more specific about the quadrants. So these four sections that are named, are formed by the x and y axis are named, and they're always named with Roman numerals. Please don't use just your standard 1, 2, 3, 4. They're Roman numeral 1, 2, three, and four is the IV. So we have ordered pairs on, we can plot on the coordinate plane, and they follow this. So quadrant one, all the points in quadrant one have a positive X coordinate and a positive Y coordinate. Every single point in the quadrants. All the points in quadrant two are with a negative x-coordinate and a positive y-coordinate. So we're going to go negative direction on the x, positive direction on the y. Quadrant 3, both x and y coordinates will be negative because we're going to go negative, negative. And then in quadrant 4, they're going to be a positive x and a negative y because we're going to go in a positive direction followed by a negative direction. So remember, you always graph the x-coordinate first. x is the first number that will be given to you in the ordered pair. If it's positive, you're going right. If it's negative, you're going left. Then you look at the y-coordinate. If the y-coordinate is positive, you go up from that location. If it's negative, you go down from that location. So your turn. I would like you to name the quadrant for each of these colored points. So put fill in on your paper, pause the video, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So our first box here is our orange point. So we go over to our coordinate plane and our orange point is in the third quadrant. One, two, three. Our pink is in the first quadrant. Our green is in the fourth. One, two, three, four. And our red is in the second. It's followed by the first. So remember, quadrant one, two, three, four. Let's practice naming an ordered pair. So I've plotted a point here. That's the location it is on the coordinate plane is what I'm looking for. Remember that the X coordinate means that you're either going left for negative or right for positive. And then the Y coordinate tells you you're positive, you go up, negative, you go down. So you always start at the origin. 
That's your starting point. To get to the x-coordinate, to find out what it is, we have to go right. So that means my x-coordinate is positive 5. Then from there, I'm going to go up to meet the point, meaning my y-coordinate is going up, so it's positive, and I'm over at the location 3, so I know my, no, my y-coordinate for this ordered pair is positive 3. So again, you start at the origin, I go positive 5 because I'm going to the right, and then I go straight up 3, which is positive 3. So the name of this ordered pair is parenthesis 5, comma, 3, parenthesis reminding you that all ordered pairs must be in parentheses. Your turn. Please name this ordered pair. Pause, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So again, we're gonna start at the origin. In this case, I have to go left to negative four to get to this point. So that means my X coordinate is negative 4. From this location, I have to go down to my point. So that means I'm going negative 3. So my y coordinate for this point is negative 3. So again, from the origin, negative 4, negative 3. Your turn. I would like you to name each of these colored ordered pairs. So look at the point and give me the location in the box for each one. Welcome back. Let's check how you did. So the orange is in quadrant one, and again, we're going right three and up one. Positive three, positive one. The pink, we're gonna go left or negative five, and up positive two. The green, we're going to go left negative one and down negative two. The red, I'm going to go right positive five and down negative three. Now I'd like you to plot this ordered pair. So we are going to start from the origin. The x coordinate is negative 2. That tells me I must go left 2. My y coordinate is positive 2, which tells me I'm going to go up 2 and plot my point. Your turn. Plot the ordered pair 4, negative 3. Pause, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. You should have started at the origin gone right, positive 4, and down, negative 3, and this would be the location of this point. Thanks for joining me today. I hope we got to the point and that you have a clearer understanding of the coordinate plane. Please subscribe to my channel and register. Click on the bell to receive notifications for when I post a new video.